I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory unto the Most High. And what we're going to be getting into today is the um, second book of Edges, chapter 7. And what we're going to be looking at is the 70 missing verses that were taken out from that book, you know. And I didn't know that there were 70 verses missing. Somebody put me on there. You know, all praises to the Most High for that. And in those 70 missing verses, it's talking about what happens, you know, immediately after you die, what happens, you know, to that person's soul. You know, and I, I did a video on that, you know what I mean, like earlier on, and, and, and it was from the Apocalypse, the book, the Apocalypse of Paul, you know what I mean? Those are non-canonical books. That was a non-canonical book that's not, that that weren't put into the Bible, you know what I mean? It's not regarded as scripture, but, and it, you know, it, 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 you, you, you know, when I when I read, when I read um, the second edges, the missing verses, chapter seven, the missing verses, and I thought about the apocalypse of Paul, you know, it, it, it ties in together once again, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, that's what we're going to be getting into today. And, you know, a, a brother did an um, amazing, uh, you know, reading on these 70 scriptures. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at it today, you know, just about four minutes of his video and his channel is called, called the North Gate. And I'm going to put the link in the description box so you guys can watch the rest because, you know, it, 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 it's, it's pretty interesting, man. You know, it's pretty interesting. You guys are going to want to watch the rest, you know. And, um, you know, we're going, to, we're going to watch about four minutes of it. Then we're going to get back into it, man. You know, we're going to talk a little bit. You know, and you guys check out the rest. Right here. Here we go. It says, now concerning death, the teaching is... When the decisive decree has gone out from the Most High that a person shall die, as the spirit leaves the body to return again to him who gave it, first of all, it adores the glory of the Most High. If it is one of those who have shown scorn and have not kept the way of the Most High, who have despised his law and hated those who fear God, such spirits shall not, shall not, enter into habitations but shall immediately listen now but shall immediately wander about in torments always grieving and sad in seven ways wow so you're gonna be grieving in seven ways for y'all that are out there that can't get it together that can't follow the laws statutes and commandments of the most high Y'all going to be grieving in seven ways immediately upon death. Immediately upon death, right? So let's see what those seven ways are, right? Now you are going to be grieving and you're going to be sad. Let's see what the first way is, right? Verse 81, it says, the first way, because they have scorned the law of the most high. So you're going to be in torments and you're going to realize that, hey, this is real. I should have did what the Lord told me to do. So you're just going to be thinking about that the whole time, right? The whole time you're going to be thinking about that, what, what I should have done. The second way, verse 82, the second way, because they cannot now make a good repentance so that they may live. Ooh, wait, that is, just imagine that. You're in the spirit world, wandering around in torments, knowing that you have a great destruction ahead of you. And there's nothing that you can do about it. There's no amount of talking that you can do. No amount of riches that you can give the most high. No nothing. You can't convince him to do nothing. It's over, said, and done with. That's 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 horrible. That's horrible. To walk around with that for years. Woo-wee. Just imagine those folks that have been dead for thousands of years. Man, that is, man, that's serious. All right. Verse 83, the third way, they shall see the reward laid up for those who have trusted the covenants of the Most High. <laughs> Man, the law is dirty. Woo! Uh, well, <laughs> good gracious. Man, that is serious. You heard that? So not only are you going to know that you're going to get destroyed, right, in the, in the final judgment, that you can also get a chance to look upon the riches that you missed out on. <laughs> Man, this is some... <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 guys. Okay, here we go. Um, verse 84. The fourth way. They shall consider the torment laid up for themselves in the last days. Good gracious. All right? The fifth way. 
they shall see how the habitations of the others are guarded by angels in profound quiet. Man, that's awesome right there. Wow, so you'd be guarded by angels while you're resting. Man, you don't have to worry about nothing. That's the best sleep in the world. All right, you got an angel for protection. 86, the sixth way, they shall see how some of them will cross over into torments. Wow. The seventh way, which is worse than all the ways that have been mentioned, because they shall utterly waste away in confusion and be consumed with shame and shall wither with fear at seeing the glory of the Most High in whose presence they sinned while they were alive and who's in presence, they are to be judged in the last times. Wow. Now that's terrible. That is absolutely horrific. All right, that is absolutely horrific. Now, you know what? I'm going to go and um, I don't want to end it on a bad note. So we're going to read about what happens to those that, uh, you know, that are good, right? Those that die, you know. When we die, what happens to us? Right? And it says, uh, so immediately after you pass away, no matter if you're good or matter if no matter if you're bad, you know what I mean. And you're gonna and you're gonna learn this when when you watch the the, the, the uh, or when you read Second Edges, the missing verses, or when you listen to this um th this video that this guy did and me reading it, you're gonna learn that immediately after you die, you wander about in the spiritual realm. I mean, for seven days. You know, for seven days, you don't you don't immediately go into your habitation. You know, you wander about for seven days, man, looking at everything that the Most High has coming to you. You know, and when you read the Apocalypse of Paul, it says the good angels and the bad angels show up to collect that spirit. You mean whichever one it belongs to. So I believe, you know, these these probably are going to be the angels that's escorting you. You're not going to be just doing your own thing, you know. So whichever angels come to escort you, that's that's the ones that's going to be showing you all this, you know. And if you if you're jacked up, it says you're going to grieve in seven ways. You you seen what he said, man? Horrible, man. You know, after and after this guy read this, man, it gave me a lot of it gave me a lot of strength because it, you see right here that, you know, these devils are not going to get away with anything, man. You know what I mean? These guys that sold out, they're not going to get away with anything. You see that? You know? So, oh, man, seven ways they're going to they're going to wander about in torments for seven days and grieve in seven ways, man. You know, grieving and in torment in their soul. And you know, I always thought after you um you you, you die, everybody just was in a deep a deep state of consciousness until judgment day. But according to these scriptures, it's not it's not like that. You know, the only people, you know, that um that's gonna be going into rest is is of course the the righteous. They're gonna be going into like a place of rest where the angels is guarding them. I mean profound quiet. I mean, but after those seven days, if you're wicked, you're going straight into torment, man. You know what I mean? I always thought that, look, you got to be judged first, and then, boom, that's it. Nah, you're going to be in torment until judgment day, you know? I didn't I didn't know that, you know? I always thought that, look, you know, the most high is free and just. He's not going to have people in there just tormenting them until judgment day. But nah, unfortunately, it's not like that, you know? So look, look at look at number seven, man. The seventh way. It says, the seventh way, which is worse than all the ways that have been mentioned, because they shall utterly waste away in confusion and be consumed with shame. Come on. And shall wither with fear as seeing the glory of the Most High, who's who in whose presence they sin while they were alive, and in whose presence they are to be judged in the last times, man. Why are you guys going to be confused, confused and ashamed? Look, I mean, because it says, I mean, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 4. I mean, chapter 5. I mean, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. It says, The way of the Lord they have not known. I mean, they erred their way in wickedness, man. I mean, 
they, they're going to say that the way of the Lord we have not known. They're going to be confused. I thought we was on the right side of the pro. Uh, 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 I thought we was on the right side. I thought we was doing the right thing. No, man. The way of the Lord you have not known, man. You know, and then uh, and, and look at number three, the third way. They shall see the reward laid up for those who trusted in the most high. These guys are going to see everything, man. After all the suffering you've been through, man, you, you especially you targeted individuals, man, they're going to see everything, man. And they're going to be in anguish and groaning of spirit. That's what it's, this, you can connect this to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, I believe. I mean, that's why they're going to be in anguish and groaning of spirit, because they're going to see that, yo, these guys' lot is with the most high. Why am I not? Why am I not over there? Why, why can't I be over there with them? You know? Come on, man. Look at... Look at number six, the sixth way. They shall see how some of them will cross over into torment. So while they wander around in the spiritual realm for seven days, they see other people that's on their, on their last day, on the seventh day, going into torments, man. You know what I mean? That's got to grieve you, man. That's got to grieve your spirit heavily. You know what I mean? You on your first day and somebody else on their seventh day and they going into torments. You know? And when they dare, it's nothing. It's nothing that they can say to, to turn back the hands of time. I mean, that's why you know. What I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna go through all this persecution, man. You target individuals. That's, 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 you know, you, you when, when you get there, you know, you still. I mean, like we all gonna have that 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 that's, that that fearful spirit on us. Like, oh man, did I make it or not? But, but, you know, it's a certain confidence you're going to have knowing that, you you know, you did the will of the Most High going in, man. Because, you know, but but for those guys that know they didn't do it, know, know, they knew that they was out here just acting a fool and, you know I mean, lying and siding with the wicked. Yo, that's got to be a scary feeling, man. That's gotta be a scary feeling, and even and, and you know, and I kind of did a I did a video on that how did, how you know they they're gonna be showing disdain, you know, and it talks about it in in, in the apocalypse of Paul, like you know what I mean. I was just reading rereading everything, man. I couldn't even remember a lot of things, and yo, when they get in the presence of these angels, it, 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 they they say it's like yo, it's like a it's like they stink, you know, you know, it's like a stench, like oh, like like get like get away from me. You know what I mean? It's like, that's how they're going to be, man. You know? They shall wander for seven days and grieve in seven ways, man. And then they, and this this right here, you know, confirms the story of, um, you know, a Abraham's bosom. How are we gonna how we how, how they were looking over? I mean, the, the 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 rich man was looking over and he was begging, you know, go back and tell my brothers and um, you know, not to come here. You know what I mean, warn them about this place, and and you know what? I remember, I remember the testimonies of people talking about how they saw Michael Jackson in hell, and you know, we know Michael Jackson sold out. We know that. He um he sold his soul to the devil. You know, to in order to gain those riches and fame. And you know, I, and and this is this is this is multiple, this is multiple testimonies from multiple people in different countries saying that they seen Michael Jackson in hell. I mean, being tormented, you know, and and and, and all all the moonwalk and all that stuff that he was doing. You know what I mean? The demons was doing that because the demons taught him to do that stuff because that that those are the the, the, the dances that they do while they tormenting when they tormenting them. I mean that's what that that's where he got all his moves from. You know, and they were saying that Michael Jackson was in hell and he was um he was t he, he he was just like Lazarus. You know what I mean? Or not or, or the rich man in, 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 the rich man in hell. He was telling um those people. Hey, stop playing my music. Stop playing my music. This is because every time you play my music, they torment me more. Tell people don't play my music. You know what I mean? You know, throw that crap away. Throw away all your CDs. 
This is what he was telling them. And Michael Jackson is a well-known figure. So I, I guess this is why the most high used Michael Jackson as an example. You know what I mean? They were they were they were, they, they were in torment, man. And you know that that that, that devil is a son of a bitch, man. You know what I mean? Over all these guys over the music industry. You see what they do? How many spins does Michael Jackson get, man? I mean, I'm talking about on the radio. How many spins does he get? He get Michael Jackson gets a whole bunch of spins, platinum, platinum, triple platinum records. He's telling people not to play the record because when they play it more, they torment it more. You know, that's scary, man. You know, and other and other celebrities too, man. You know, telling people not not to play their music because when they play, you know, they get tormented more. You know how many all these all these celebrities like Drake and Chris Brown, you know what I mean? These guys in trouble, man. They in trouble. You know. <laughs> Because when you get down there, like it says, man, there's no way to make no repentance, man. People said they seen Selena down there, you know, and she was asking the Most High for 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 uh for forgiveness and, and mercy, and the Most High said, you know what I mean, mercy, mercy was on Earth. Ain't no mercy down here, you know. This is what he was showing certain people, man. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, this is crazy, man. So you, I mean, you guys, you think you all these celebrities is 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 in heaven? You all, oh, everybody going there? It's not like that, man. It's not like that. You know. So you, you guys are doing all manner of wickedness. This is this is this is what's coming to you, man. You know that's why we always we gotta we got we gotta stay you gotta stay in the corners with the Most High and repent, man. Because it's nobody that's going to be able to... You're you standing on your own two over there. Nobody that's going to be able to pray for you. It's over, man. This is... This is... This is... This is cold, man. You know, so this is the one... This is, I just wanted to get this one off, man. You know, they shall be consumed with shame... And then even when you read the apocalypse of the apocalypse of Paul, you know, it, it shows you that this guy that murdered people, these people was brought before him, man. You know, the people that everybody that he killed, everybody that he did something wrong to, they was brought before him. He had to ask as to why he did this. Why did you kill those people? So you see, you guys think that you're gonna get away with it. Oh, oh, some of you got away with it on earth, man. You know what I mean? But when you get in front of the most high, everything is going to be... Like, everybody. Everybody's sins that they did is going to be just brought before the, everybody. All the saints, all the angels, everything you did, man. You know? And, you know? So... And a lot of people is gonna be shamed because they they followed these 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 demons their entire lives that was lying to them, and then now you're gonna have now you're gonna get to be with them. You know what I mean, you can't follow a demon their entire life, and then at the end think you're gonna switch up and cross over to the other side. And this is what I've been talking about the whole time, man. And a lot of y'all is gonna want to cross over. Uh, nope, you gotta go with you gotta go with the, these demons, and the, you know what I mean, so. Yeah, man, you know, uh, that's it, man. All praises to the most high, man. You know, I mean, check that, uh, check that video out, you know, because it's, um, it's edifying, man.